I want to go where the guns are. Son, when the Marine Corps wants you to have a wife, you will be issued one. Paperwork will ruin any military force. I assure you, Virginia that I never in my life have ever made a statement that I like to fight. If you want to get the most out of our men, give them a break. Don't make them work completely in the dark. If you do, they won't do a bit more than they have to. But if they comprehend, they'll work like mad. In the Confederate Army, an officer was judged by stark courage alone. I've always believed that no officer's life, regardless of rank, is of such great value to his country that he should seek safety in the rear. Officers should be forward with their men at the point of impact. You were absolutely correct in making him salute you 100 times lieutenant. But you know that an officer must return every salute he receives. Now return them all, and I will keep count. We've been looking for the enemy for some time now. We've finally found him. We're surrounded. That simplifies things. The mail service has been excellent out here. And in my opinion, this is all that the Air Force has accompanied during the war. We make generals today on the basis of their ability to write a damned letter. Those kinds of men can't get us ready for war. All right, they're on our left, they're on our right, they're in front of us, they're behind us. They can't get away this time. If we are going to win the next war, in my opinion, 50% of the time of training should be allotted to night training. Our country won't go on forever if we stay soft as we are now. There won't be any America because some foreign soldiery will invade us and take our women and breed a hardier race. What American people want to do is fight a war without getting hurt. You can't do that any more than you get into a barroom fight without getting hurt. Retreat, we're just attacking in a different direction. Hit hard, hit fast, hit often. Don't forget that you're first Marines. Not all the communists in hell can overrun you. Old breed, new breed. There's not a damn bit of difference as long as it's the Marine breed. There are not enough Chinamen in the world to stop a fully armed Marine regiment from going wherever they want to go. They are a damn sight better than the US Army, at least we know that they will be there in the morning. Pain is weakness leaving the body. In the Marine Corps, your buddy is not only your classmate or fellow officer, but he is also the Marine under your command. Take me to the brig, I want to see the real marines. Those days in the woods saved my life many a time in combat. I'll take care of my men first. Frozen troops can't fight. If we run out of ammunition, we'll go to the bayonet. My definition, the definition that I've always believed in, is the esprit de corps means love for one's own military legion. In my case, the United Marine Corps. If you don't prepare yourself to properly train him, lead him and support him, then you're going to let him down. That is unforgivable in the Marine Corps. 